Well, with Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed leaving office last year, his chief of staff, Candace Byrd, went on a whirlwind travel binge around the globe. Our Fox 5 I team obtained her city-issued credit card bills for the last nine months of Reed's term and found she spent more than $60,000 on luxury international travel. Senior I team reporter Dale Russell has the very latest. Sinead Candace Bird has been Mayor Reed's friend since law school and chief of staff for him for eight years. She traveled overseas often on the job, but we found during her final months, she showed no signs of slowing down. In the council chamber, second floor of City Hall. For eight years, if you wanted to find former Mayor Kasim Reed's chief of staff, Candace Bird, they would sometimes appear together before the city council. But our investigation found a better place to look was the airport. That's where we found her on this July day coming back from Havana, Cuba with other city employees. Earlier we told you how we examined 27 months of Bird's credit card expenditures and found she took 34 trips, more than one a month. Destinations like Cuba, South Africa, Tokyo, Barcelona, London, Nassau, and five trips to New York City, four to Washington DC, and two to Los Angeles. She often flew on the most expensive ticket Delta sells, like her two-hour flight to Havana at a cost of $1,700, according to Mayor Reed's staff. So we wanted to know, what did Candace Bird do during her final nine months on the job? Well, she was here a lot. We found she spent more than $60,000 on her travel and another $30,000 on other people's travel. We found Candace Bird took at least 14 flights, more than one a month, with destinations that read like a travel blogger's bucket list. Overseas as well. Havana, Cape Town, Havana again, Munich, India, and Barcelona. Often she flew on that most expensive first class style ticket, costing $10,000, $10,000, even one, $13,000 to Barcelona. That's a lot of international travel, especially in the last six months that you're going to be working for the mayor. Sarah Henderson is director of the Good Government Group, Common Cause. I would like to see the justification for all of these trips. Documentation for those trips was slim, but we did see Candace Bird paid for airfare for her niece, who is a legislative assistant to Mayor Reed, to Norway. Mayor Reed, seen here on the Twitter account of The Host, was a featured speaker for the Global Parliament of Mayors Conference. Bird also paid for another overseas trip for her niece to New Delhi, India. That's her credit card. It should be everything for her. And the fact that she used it for a trip for her niece, who also works for the city, optically looks horrible. Candace Bird also charged taxpayers $2,450 for a Harvard Business course. All in all, she spent more than $60,000 during those final months on all her travel costs. That's flights, meals, and top-rated hotels like the Four Seasons in Miami and Cape Grace Waterfront Hotel in South Africa. That's unbelievable. It's, tr it's truly unbelievable. Voters, citizens should be, should be appalled. They really should be. And we could not reach Ms. Bird for comment. She's no longer with the city. A spokesman for Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms told me, and I quote now, we will not speculate on the decisions made by the previous administration with regards to its expenditures. Russ, Sine. So as you point out, this all happened as Candace Bird was essentially on the way out the door. Uh, was there a stated justification for these huge expenses for, for going to Barcelona and India? We, uh, we really don't know. We asked for the justification. We asked for the paperwork that was turned in for these trips. There's virtually none. It was just nothing really giving to us. We were able to piece together one or two of the trips. Generally, you've got to feel that there has to be some kind of legitimacy to this trip. But we don't know. We, you know, we don't know what it was, uh, how extensive it was, or, or, or what. So we, I'd love to be able to answer that for you, Russ. The city could not give us the documents to answer that question. Yeah, I'd also be interested to see what justifies the first-class travel right. and the luxury accommodations. It's right. all We've been curious. asking that question for a long time about a lot of the members of this cabinet. Thanks right. so much. Appreciate it, Dale. Thanks, Dale.